North Lake 339 Medevac Tower, number 2 runway 12. Eclipse 8067, contact Edmonton Centre now on 1326. A typical morning at the NAV Canada Control Centre in Edmonton. Kendra Kincaid is an air traffic controller, one of many at the Edmonton International Airport. Star 904, Edmonton Terminal, good morning, runway 12 or 20. The winds are 15019, guesting 26. We're in the area control center out at the International Airport, and uh, we control airplanes. We keep them uh, safe as they fly throughout the sky in the Canadian airspace. Encore 3212, contact Edmonton Center now, 13277. Good day. From this room on the far side down here, we have Calgary Terminal. It's worked out of this room too, which is kind of surprising to a lot of people. And then we have uh, en route sectors, which uh, go basically Grand Prairie, Fort St. John, down in Red Deer and Lethbridge, that area. And Edmonton controls the Arctic regions too. The bulk of our traffic is uh, very long haul flights. Uh, uh, a couple of the main traffic patterns are Europe to and from the West Coast, which could also include Edmonton, Calgary. Um, also the east coast of the U.S. and eastern Canada going to and from Alaska and also to the Orient. I'm looking all the way from the B.C. border into Saskatchewan down to Calgary and up to just north of Fort McMurray. Garnet Miller is another supervisor in air traffic control. Despite hundreds of daily flights in his airspace, no problem. Well, as far as uh, controller safety, we're, I think we're one of the safest in the world, or our system. And, wow. uh, I can't remember the last incident we had. They're communicating directly with the uh, pilots, giving them instructions, turn left, turn right, climb, descent, and uh, I'm just monitoring the big picture to make sure they don't get overloaded and make sure they have the resources they need. Hello Zulu Tango, departure, good morning, radar identified, turn right, heading 250, climb to 7000. It's the blacker flights that are no longer active, so they've already, they've landed, they're no longer in the air. Uh, the red are active flights and they're airborne and the green are plans, flight plans in the system that aren't airborne yet. Meanwhile, Brian Carlson keeps watch over his crew, keeping watch over the north. Well, what uh, it's saying right now that in this particular picture we're seeing 5,757 active right now. We can run up to 900 flights a day through here. There's never a situation where it's just one person working all this. Well, sure, 777 Airborne, contact departure 13365, clear for takeoff and runway. The tower actually works the aircraft on the ground and gets them set up for takeoff. And uh, as soon as the wheels are up, they're told to contact us in terminal. And so when they talk to us in terminal, we get them all straightened out between the arrivals and departures of where they need to go. And then once they're en route, we hand them off to the en route sectors and they take them from there. Encore 3109, turn right direct Ravma on course. Ever improving technology and just the right people. Job candidates require grade 12, but not all can handle the level of difficulty in air traffic control. The level of focus and responsibility, not for everyone. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.